Okay, I want to go over a chart and uh, show you some ideas about the harmonics of trading. So earlier we went over in the chat room something that uh, is important when looking at harmonics and, and entries. So we see here the market's been on its way up, so that means any pullbacks should be supportive. We have the gap from the morning low rallied up and has been correcting into the afternoon. And this swing right down here is the main swing that we want to look at of um, a particular pattern. So if we to open this up, okay, if we open this up, we can see a flush down. It doesn't mean anything on this, on this uh, five minute chart, but if we bring it down to a one minute chart, we can start analyzing the data and determining uh, where stop points are and entry points are. Now, look at a harmonic trading. We're taking the swing low, swing high, and we want to start removing these areas right here. Because we're looking at a zone in the 786 to 886 area. Fibonacci retracements. We're going to give this pattern. All right. And what we're going to do is we just have this extension. And we're going to look at levels down in this area. So we have, all right, just to get things accelerated a little bit. So we have a cluster. Just uh, tie this down. Okay, we have a cluster area, as you see. And now we're looking at drawing in our harmonics, the harmonic pattern, to bring some clarity to the structure to see what it looks like. So you have your X, A, B, and then we have from that point your B, C, D. Now this comes into the 786 to 886 based on this pattern. This is called a bat pattern. Okay, you have your X, A, B, C, D. So let's draw in the lettering of this pattern. So we have an X, A, B, C, D. So we have the X, A, B, C pattern. We also see that the market has failed at this point. And we're going to get into that in a, in a few minutes. So let me just pull this over and we throw in another level to watch. Okay, so the thing is when you're looking at these harmonic type of patterns, a couple things have to come into consideration. How many drives is the market going to have coming into support? All right, and where support is going to hold? All right, just because this is a key area to watch, it's a key area to watch. Some, it's not necessarily an area to execute until you have uh, an identifiable short-term pattern on your oscillator to tell you it's time to get in. All right, so let's open this up, make this a little bit wider, and let's discuss. Okay, so we know for a fact that this is the area where you're looking to for the market to hold in turn, but even if it pushes through a bit, as long as it holds below that, that extended, that 113%, we're still good. So from 78, 86, even past the 100, it's fine uh, for that. If it starts getting past this, then we're going to kill that pattern. So the fact the market came down, we're going to look at how the market came down in waves. 
All right, so zero, typically in Elliot, all right, you have a top, which is, you have a zero point, you have a one. Okay, one more time. You have a one. You have a two. You have a three. And four. Then you have your five. All right, so we're looking at now is the five wave down that the market performed. And we're going to throw a little line in here and draw that out for you. So the market did this, did this, did this, did this, and did this. All right, so it isn't the prettiest of five waves, but it came down in five waves uh, regardless. And it came into the area that we were looking at for support. See this? All right now, you got to push down into the support market. Bounce a little bit and came down one more time. Okay, this is where it starts to get interesting. I'll remove this. So market gave a bounce and then came down one more time. And when it does that, when it did that, what you end up getting is a buy divergence pattern on this small, smaller time frame. So for the room, we were given an area saying basically if you want to take this on the long side, you could. You got to put your risk under that 113%. So in case you still want to come down a little bit, but you're getting a buy divergence, an area where the market says, okay, we've had our five wave and now we're ending it with a little what we call a buy divergence where prices made lower lows. So here's a low and then here's a lower low. Okay, and then here is a higher low. The market made a low, and then the next swing down made a higher low, and that's telling us that the market support or downside should start to let up. So what this is also called, this bar right here in a harmonic world is called the terminal price bar. This is what you call your PRZ, your, your uh, potential reversal zone, okay? Potential reversal zone, but yet, Although it's a potential reversal zone, this can come quite a bit further. And once the bottom tail is in, that's your terminal price bar. So we watch the, per, the potential price zone, and we want everything to end there and turn up perfectly, but sometimes it doesn't, and you'll have that, that extra wave down. This is where bringing in an MACD comes into play. So working in on that, you're looking at this area for a buying opportunity, and once you get that bounce, and we were going over this before in the room, once this higher low is in, okay, one more time. Once this higher low is in right here, and let me draw this. Right, once it's in there, you could look to take a long trade. The other opportunity is any push back down, you're still looking for a lower high, and you're looking for it to turn back up from that point. So for now, the market's been given a little bit of a bounce up, but you could just see technically the point of this video is to show you how you are to treat these potential uh, price zones, these price bar reversal areas, all right? And that it's important to have an MACD or an RSI that tells you, yes, we're now starting to slow down, although this is still valid. So let's bring this back over a bit. All right, we can see the pattern, X, A, B, C, D. We see the five wave down into that. So this pattern is still valid, although it came deeper. It's just that that's what happens sometimes. It overshoots. So a trader in this capacity in here would have taken a stop unknowingly whereas another trader who understands it would have waited for that push down waited for the divergence to form on the oscillator and take a little bit of a trade back up so we were talking about this in the uh, in the uh, room earlier our um, programmer right now is uh, in the back office on our signal right at the current moment so we decided just to do a uh, 
a little video. He's just updating some stuff for us. Anyway, this is something to watch going forward for your uh, education. And uh, if you like this, um, the harmonic patterns, this is something that works on any, 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 any market. I mean, it's not just the uh, S&Ps, it's any market. But here's a good example of really how you want to treat uh, a push into the potential, pre uh, potential res reversal zone. And this is all uh, originally based from Scott Carney and his work at Harmonic Trader.